Guys, what's going on? We're at Sawgrass Nature Center. Today is gonna to be a very interesting day. We have to pull eggs out of an alligator's nest, which sounds very, very weird. I know you guys don't really don't see that on my channel, but if you remember, I haven't filmed with her in quite some time. Wally, the amazing little female alligator. She's got eggs in that little mound of dirt. Last year she had 19, today we have no idea how many we're gonna see, so we're gonna dig in there and see what we can find. As you guys can see, she's very protective of her nest, just like any mother would be of her babies. So I'm just gonna try and get her in the water and see if she'll stay in the water so we can start digging up those eggs. I think that's the worst she's ever been. All right guys, now normally um, alligators will use almost anything they can to make a nest. In this case, she used a lot of dirt, rocks, some grass. In the wild, they'll use uh, leaves, branches, sticks, dirt, mud, grass, all that fun stuff. Um, so this one's gonna be pretty compact because we have had a lot of rain here over the past two weeks, um, which, you know, rain does compact the dirt. I also wanna try and move a lot of the dirt right underneath where you guys are kind of standing right there because she started digging out where the gate is and we don't want her to be able to get out underneath the gate, uh, which is the perimeter gate. Okay. She's hanging out over there. So let's get this started. Now, obviously, Wally does not have a boyfriend, so there is no way these eggs would hatch. See sticks, um, just different leaves and stuff, a lot of rock. She always puts her nest in the same exact spot. Now typically female alligators will get anywhere from six to seven feet long. Um, when they do get bigger, they can lay up to about 35 eggs. Wally isn't that big of an alligator. So she never usually lays more than 20 eggs. All right, so normally they're only a couple inches down. I don't see them here. So we'll move on over here. There we go. 
if you guys come on over here, you can see that right there is the first alligator egg. So most of them are going to be right here. You can see the color difference in the eggs. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I just cracked that one. You gotta be careful now. Uh, that's uh, one. That's your typical sized alligator egg. You can look how many there are here. There's a lot already, I can see. Did puncture that one a little bit. So for those of you guys that don't know, um, believe it or not, the temperature of the nest determines what sex the alligators are, which kind of comes to a problem with global warming. Because any nest that is 90 degrees or around 91 degrees or more is a male. Anything around 82 or less is a female, and anything in between can be both sexes. So if global warming does happen, alligators could go extinct. The simple fact that all the males will be, or all males will be born, and there will be no females left. Normally, if these eggs were fertile, when you take them out, you'd mark the top of them so you know which way they were laying. Um, just like most reptile eggs, you want them to lay the same way they were in the nest. But being that these are not fertile, I do not have to worry about that. Another one. Another one. There's a lot this year. I think that's all of them. I'm gonna push some of the dirt down. All right, so I'm gonna try and level out this nest a little bit. We'll be back to you guys here in a minute. All right, guys, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 21 eggs. That is a record for Wally. Since I've been here, that's a record for her. Do you see some of the eggs got punctured or ruptured either in the egg laying process? Um, there's two or three like that, but there you go. A bunch of alligator eggs. Now we're going to go do an educational talk with them with a bunch of kids for a summer camp. All right, good morning, guys. We have a special treat for you today. As you guys know, if you walk past Wally's habitat, he knew she was sitting on a nest. Uh, this is Will. Will's our gator guy. He's the one who takes care of Wally and helps uh, keep her, her cage in shape and, and uh, if there's any issues with her. This is Brian, his apprentice. And he came out to dig the eggs out today. If you guys remember, we talked about the eggs we're not gonna hatch, right? So he's gonna tell you about that and show you the eggs, okay? Have any of you guys seen a chicken egg before? Yeah. How many of you guys? Let me see hand. I popped this one. I pulled yeah? one. You held one? I one. So an alligator egg looks a lot like a chicken egg. Guys, this is really cool. So this beautiful bird up here is a red-tailed hawk. This awesome cage that he's in it was actually built and donated by uh, Boy Scouts of America. I used to be a Boy Scout, believe it or not. But some kids did this for their Eagle Scout project. I think it came out pretty good. As you can see, his wing is a little messed up. He is deemed unreleasable by the rehab. He can no longer hunt or fly like he used to normally. So if he were to be released, he would die. So he's gonna live out the rest of his wonderful days here at the rehab. But he is a big, beautiful, beautiful bird.
All right, guys, so we're gonna get out of here. Um, we have lots of stuff to do today. I'm gonna put all of their social media stuff in the link in the description so you guys make sure you check them out, give them a follow. They do a lot of really good work here. Everybody that works here is volunteers. So remember, subscribe. If you're not already, smash that like button. If you haven't already, yes, it is currently raining. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Like always, big thank you to my Patreons. You guys are awesome. Bye.